recording. These girls are crazy. These girls and this little boy are crazy. So I'm making progress, guys. It doesn't look like it, but I have made so much progress. I've gotten rid of some boxes down here and things, and I'm slowly going through stuff. I don't really have a lot of time to go through things that I want to go through, so I'm saving that. So there still is quite a few boxes, but a lot of stuff I am throwing away, a lot of old, big stuff. So, yeah, you guys. I just, I truly feel like as soon as I get rid of all this crap, things are just gonna be popping, 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 as in moving. All right, so I got rid of crap over here. I still have some things that I am going through. Well, you guys, look at this old, these old VHSs. Jarvis and I have them. And I freaking don't know what the hell to do with them. But, um, I've got, like, clothes and stuff that I'm going to donate to the homeless. And still some boxes that we need to go through. But for the most part, I'm really happy because we had an old, like, little, um, dishwasher. I'm happy we got rid of that crap. So, now I'm going to chill. I ordered some veggie pizza from Domino's for us because I can't really go anywhere because I only have two car seats and even if I had a third one our car doesn't have anywhere to fit it so um I'm gonna do that we're gonna hang out we're gonna chill I put all that stuff in the dumpster by myself that dishwasher was heavy it was so heavy and hey girls so it is the evening it's about I guess five, almost five, it's 4.50. My cousin came and picked up my little cousin and they are gone. You guys, she is a doll. It's work three cheer right now. And I'm so happy she got to spend the last couple of days with us because Janess needs to be around kids. And I don't know if I told you, um, I had signed her up for preschool, but I decided because she, because her birthday's in November. I don't know if this is like this everywhere, but here in Utah, if your birthday's after the 15th of October, you don't get to go to school until the next year when you turn five. So she's going to be at home for two more years. So I'm keeping her at home with me and we're going to do things instead of twice a day, we're going to do things three times a day. And then my mom's gonna come do stuff with her too, pre-K wise. So we're like homeschooling. And then um, she's doing this online preschool as well, but she doesn't get to start that one until next year. So we're doing that and I'm glad with my decision because I really do want her to get out in the world, but she's going to be in school for the rest of her life. You know what I mean? Like. I didn't stop going to school until I was like 27, you know, different things. And so, you know, speaking of going to school, tonight is Jarvis's first night of class. And I am so excited. You can tell he's excited, but he's like kind of nervous because he, he's been out of school since we graduated in 04. So, ah, I just, <laughs> you guys. I am so proud of him, you guys. Like, I'm trying not to cry. Like, if we were in person, I'd be already done with bawling. Like, you can ask anybody. But I'm trying not to cry, but you guys, you will see soon that I have the goofiest laugh. Like, people are always like, oh my god, your laugh. And I cry. If I'm upset, I cry. If I'm happy, I cry. And... Y'all, we've been together for 11 years, shotties. 11 years, and I'm just, he is just blowing my mind. That's all I can say. So yeah, Janessa's gonna stay home, and now that I'm here, I am in no rush. Like, don't get me wrong, my nerves be shot some days, okay? They be shot. Okay, because I'm used to be around grown-ups all the time. So... I'm here with her, so I'm going to enjoy my baby girl as long as I can, y'all. So, at least 
one more year and then if things are going good we she may she may not go to preschool that long because she gonna i mean kindergarten up till college so right now i'm making dinner i'm making meatloaf shoddy meatloaf okay um right now i'm dicing up some green onion i mean sorry green bell pepper i've got almost all of it in a bowl i'm gonna do some white onion and i might put a little of this red bell pepper in there just for some more flavoring and color but i've got my green lentils going on the stove i'm gonna turn them down a little bit i every time i cook these i get so leery i mean i follow the instructions that they have online and whatnot but i don't know the the tenderness are they supposed to be tender or are they supposed to be hard i don't know and usually like most beans aren't you supposed to soak them overnight but supposedly you can just put these bad boys in i am gonna add some more water though because i need to turn that down i'm gonna add a titch more water so those can cook I'm obviously not a professional chef. Obviously not a professional chef because that was a that was a rookie move. So yeah. This is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. So basically I use the lentils that I made, not quite all of them. I cooked a cup of lentils and then I had a cup of leftover still cut oats that I made this morning. And I added that with flaxseed, um, ground flaxseed, till I got a consistency that I liked. And I, it's, you know, sticky like how my meatloaf was before so it would stick together but I just put it in this pan and um, I'm just gonna cut it in slices like I usually would because I used to make meatloafs just like this so um, yeah we'll see what it tastes like you gotta play around with the spices and get it to where it tastes meatish to you but I use one thing that did kind of help was this Montreal seasoning from um, Grill Mates, McCormick Grill Mates. I used that. And cumin and salt and pepper and garlic. The organic garlic, um, you have to use quite a bit of it to get flavor. But um, that's why I added the Grill Mates because it's bigger pieces. So yeah, I'm just going to bake this until it firms up. And we'll have us some vegan meatloaf. I did use um, Lee and Perrin's. This has anchovy in it, so it's not vegan. Whoa, share, you guys. So, you know, after I use all this, I will be getting animal-free kind. So, yeah, I will let you know how it turns out. All right, guys, my meatloaf is done. It looks good. I've been sampling it from the corner. I just pulled it out. It is hot. It's got good flavor. The flavor is good. Mommy? Yes. good flavor but what I totally forgot to do like is spray the dang pan with cooking spray I didn't do that I did not I neglected to use cooking spray but this is what it this is 
what it looks like. It looks really good. It's got good flavor. It's just kind of stuck to the But we'll see what happens when it cools off. Rookie mistake. All right, girls. If I can get it to focus, come on, focus. This is a finished product. It, it looks, looks like meatloaf, right? It looks like it looks. This is mashed potatoes. That's mashed potatoes. You taste them and tell me, tell the hay girls what you think. Let me blow it. Okay, it's not hot. What do you think? It's good? Okay, oh, Jackson, here. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think? Good. You think it's good? It tastes like mommy's regular meatloaf? All right, girls. Let's see, let me get a bite. We're, this is how tired I am. We're all sharing the same plate. Okay, here's my bite. Wait a minute, though. These potatoes, though. Wait a minute. Now let me just get just the meatloaf. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, Jackson. Taste. I want more. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yaki, girl. I want broccoli. He got the, his hand on. I want broccoli. Like, okay, hold on. I'm getting Jackson some tainy. Mmm. <laughs> Jackson, mmm. Mm. Yeah, carrot. And now some broccoli for Bug. Mmm. Now we're going to enjoy this. I don't even know the camera.